blown out windows and large vacant lots. Those are among the telltale signs of a gas explosion six years ago in downtown Springfield. And recent explosions in the eastern part of the state linked to the same company, Columbia Gas of Massachusetts, have some questioning how safe we are here. Mayor Dominic Sarno wants a meeting with Columbia Gas to discuss. Is he going to get it? A letter has come in. We will meet at the appropriate time. Obviously, they have their hands full uh, dealing with uh, Lawrence and Andover and North Andover. And, and Godspeed uh, goes out to all the residents of the area. And, of course, my a good friend, Mayor Danny Rivera, does a good job there. And I've spoken to Governor Baker a number of times uh, on a situation. We did send out assistance, which are very appreciative. I sent a dozen officers out there, Commissioner Barbarian, and they really appreciated that. What's your conversation been like with Governor Baker, specifically about what? Uh, I think Governor Baker on that, uh, how we dealt with it here in 2012 and the relationship uh, with Columbia Gas and Steve Bryant, which I've always had a good relationship and strong communication uh, uh, all the time. And, and when we dealt with that situation, and I think they shared a little bit of, uh, obviously, uh, uh, Governor Baker and Mayor Revere shared some frustration in these types of situations. Communication, and swift communication is key. And then uh, also talked about uh, to get to Danny too is that uh, to be sure that you document somebody on your staff or people around you, make sure you document everything, all the expenses that have been incurred. And uh, uh, that's important for you. I'm sure they're going to get state assistance, but you might be able to go after federal re assistance well, to rebuild. Well, and the gas company in the interim had stepped up and it yeah. made that $10 million donation. Yeah. But I think for people here in Springfield, 2012 rings yes. very true. Uh, you go up Worthington Street, you still see windows blown out, even though yeah. a lot of things have been repaired. Yeah. We've been getting emails here. Are we safe? What's the status yeah. of things? So when you look at the gas infrastructure in the city of Springfield right now, do you know how safe the infrastructure is? We have a process uh, for any type of activities that goes on through our DPW and uh, DPW Director Chris Signoli. And also we have been working in conjunction with Columbia Gas. I might have announced it maybe a year, year and a half ago on how they continue to tackle uh, you know, not only leaks but the improvements that they're doing. So we have a coordinated uh, effort. But I think the question has to go here, what occurred uh, in uh, 2012 here in, in Springfield and I was really uh, on site almost immediately being just really down the road from the quadrangle holiday lighting that we were doing and what occurred now in Lawrence, North Andover and Andover specifically the post op so you make sure it, it does not happen again I think you have to question has to be about uh, uh, the, the training of these specialists uh, what occurred right now I understand preliminary they're saying that high pressure lines were going into low pressure lines but preliminary the, right but the, the 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 investigation will be ongoing yes. and, and obviously very different circumstances here yes. in 2012 there was a a gas uh, yeah. they were investigating a last gas leak and a line got punctured. there was a call for that but I'm, it's the same company with the same infrastructure yes. so th the public anxiety around this do Naturally. you do you hear it do you are you hearing from people in your office well i think people uh, out there uh, always will question when something like this occurs a disaster uh, whether it's a natural this is a man-made disaster occurs rightfully so they question i did immediately too uh, whether i have good relationships or, or not on it i wanted to make sure that our people here in springfield and the business community surrounding areas are going to be safe do we know well, right now if there's any work ongoing or scheduled in the near future here in springfield they always have there's a process that has to go through uh, dpw my uh, dpw director chris signoli and then work is and then finally goes to the city council for oak and conduits etc on that so there is a process and procedure of checks uh, and balances on it I think you see what occurred in 2012 here was human error. As you indicated, Kerry, uh, the investigation still continues on in Lawrence but and or North Andover. To your point about that check and balance yeah. system, if something were to come before the city council in the next several weeks or months, do you would you say, hey, let's hold off, let's wait until we know a little bit more about well, what happened in Lawrence? We're, con we're constantly uh, uh, working with our utilities, and uh, Chris Signoli does a tremendous job. And if there's any question, uh, with any work that any of our utilities are doing, in this case Columbia Gas or any subs that they're using, uh, then we we're, yeah we're yes I'm sorry the <laughs> jargon here we push we we we're sure to push back on it too. So I think this has put everybody uh, uh, rightfully so on their toes. But it's it's the question you ask is a very valid question. 
because we use so much of natural gas and people want to make sure uh, that they're safe. And we've told anybody and anything that if you, you have that odor, that smell, better to be safe than sorry. Make that call or immediately get out of whatever. Should they call 911? Who should they be calling? Uh, immediately when they get that, if you see that, get out of wherever you are. Make the call. Don't touch anything. Make the call outside of wherever you are. And you should call 911 immediately because that'll trigger all the follow-up type efforts. Could be nothing, but better to be safe than uh, uh, sorry. So I, I'm very interested to know in our you know, follow-up meetings with Columbia Gas, but what specifically happened in Lawrence and in Andover and North Andover, because we learned from it uh, here in Springfield. And so let's look back at 2012. You know, there yeah. obviously was an investigation following what happened on yeah. Worthington Street. For you, are there loose ends still six years later? They, uh, we communicated very, very well, and uh, Columbia Gas uh, lived up to their commitment. They worked in partnership. Matter of fact, the recovery center that I had, uh, I did that in partnership. I had it right in City Hall, right next to my office in room 220, the school committee uh, chambers. So all residents affected in the area and business community came right there with all the representation of Columbia Gas to make them whole. So the city, we were able to get everything that we had coming to us. And uh, then there was an $850,000 settlement about a year later. Right. What did that money go toward? The money is going towards, again, that's our, our rebuild of the area there. And also we had uh, uh, destruction occurred uh, with uh, uh, fire equipment and uh, with police, et cetera. People were already on the scene. Exactly. They're investigating the when, you, when you're on the scene, and I'll, I remember it distinctly, Carrie, I was on my way uh, going to the quadrangle lighting. And on my, uh, uh, the police radio came across about a... Uh, a small kitchen fire in Chester Tower, and then leak, a hint of uh, a gas leak on Worthington Street. Many times you think those are routine. During the quadrangle event at the museums, people thought it was part of the show. The SciTech band was, they thought a cannon was you going off. You heard that bang. I knew exactly what it was. And my family, and friends, I, I used to, to, to leave here, I remember running down uh, Chestnut Street. I mean, literally running down, there were glass coming down, and. At the time, Lieutenant Governor Tim Murray was here with his contingent, and we ran down there, and immediately right on, on site there. And the first thing you ask in these situations, we've, you know, we've gone through a number of other uh, disasters here. You're in triage. You're in search and rescue. And always to me is, what's the count? Has anybody been killed, God forbid? Has anybody been injured? no one no was. One there was. were some Fire, injuries. Fire, water and sewer. But he, and, right, and, and here uh, we are six years later, though, and, and I hear what yeah. you're saying, that some of the money went toward you yeah. know, correcting things that yes. were made wrong in yeah. that area. But if you drive up Worthington yeah. today, windows are still blown out. I think there are well, think very have, clear you, evidence of what happened I in the past. I think you have those in question. Uh, there are some private properties because we continue to move forward on our innovation uh, uh, district area and that, and there's some plans and the works for that mm. uh, area that we look to do. Some things you might see that a majority of things, the Macintosh, the condos there, everything's been repaired. Some of those buildings are, that you see are, are private entities that are held there. And we do have plans for redevelopment uh, as we continue to expand the innovation district. We have the restaurant district going in the entrepreneur district. So we do have plans uh, for that area. One more quick question. Sure. We're short on time. Senator Eric Lesser recently came out and said he thinks that there should be a complete investigation of the DPU and that work should be halted, especially on any new work. Uh, by Columbia Gas. Do you agree with him? I think that you have to have a, a, a full investigation. And if you're doing certain projects now that uh, you really need at this point in time to look under the fingernails to make sure that everything is being double checked and done, there might be some essential projects that are uh, need to be moved uh, forward when it pertains to economic development, residential, businesses on it. But uh, you got to take a step back and, and pause and, and say with certain things, each and every guideline being followed, and uh, even with each and every guideline being followed in any uh, business, human error does come into play. But I'm, we, you have to find out exactly post what occurred here so it does not happen again.